I wanted to use things in my studio. I wanted to use things from my walks and from the yard. And so what I have, I pulled, um, we have these little bushes out in front. I can't even remember what they're called, but I, I took a couple branches, little, I just snipped some. So I have these like pretty little berries on here. And then this was from my walk. I was laying in the, on the sidewalk, <clears throat> excuse me, and some little branches. And then I have my favorite twine. And then at the hardware store, they have these super cute jingle bells. So I thought they would be fun. So what I want to do is kind of create a very simple wrapping, but bring in these elements of nature and then just give you some ideas of different adornment that you can put onto your packages and just kind of adding some layers. So I think what I'll do is start, let me show you what I have here. So when we were doing all the mark making, I had a really big piece of sketch paper and it's not expensive sketch paper. And um, when I made the ribbon journal, I had this, it was huge, okay? So I just went ahead with my leftover ink and I made a big, put the leftover ink with the ribbon and <clears throat> with the leftover papers. I'm uh, sorry, I can't talk. I think it's, I'm sleep deprived of <laughs> the puppy, so pardon me. Okay, so I made gift wrap out of it. So I wrapped this up and then I made this little belly band out of a piece of craft paper and then put some twine on it. So I want to embellish it with, um, I think I want to embellish it with this. Okay, so let me move this over a little bit. And I can bring this in here. I can kind of untie this and just kind of tie it just to make it kind of special. And I was trying to use things so I wouldn't have to go to the store and buy something to wrap my gifts. And I really like making things and we've been kind of in that kind of frame of mind with all the little journals that we've been making. And I think it makes the package very special. And I have a big roll of craft paper and it's gonna work for me. A big roll of craft paper that I get on Amazon and a big roll of sketch paper. It's just white paper, craft paper. And it's nice to have in your studio. All right, so here we go, there's that. And then I think I'll add like a little jingle bell to it, which I think would be kind of fun. So I just looped a piece of the twine right in here, and then I'm gonna wrap it around. And I think this will look really pretty. And then I can write something onto the craft paper I want to, or you can do some of your mark making on here as well. All right, well, I think that there we go. So now I have this hand painted gift wrap and a little piece of greenery and the jingle bell. So it's still, it's very simple. I want it to be simple and not too overdone. Okay, so there's one gift. All right, I found this is so pretty. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my twine here and I have a little bit of paste and I just want to add something to it. So I just have a little paste here. I'm just going to put a little bit of the paste on this and wrap this around here. So it just adds another layer, another little element to this gift wrapping. I don't have to tie any knots and it'll just be pretty. I think you could use embroidery thread too. stickiest glue. There we go. All right. Okay. So now I have a little piece. It's got this twine on it. And I'm gonna put this one aside. I'll look at them on the end. And I did this one, I did the reverse. So I have a, a this is a book. This is actually my Christmas present from my husband. <laughs> Um, after 20 years, I say, this is what I want. Because okay, so I got that. So I just haven't opened it yet. So it's just wrapped in um, the, the craft paper. And then I cut 
from my large piece, this little belly band, all right? Which I think makes it look really pretty. So you could, I was kind of going back and forth. I'm not sure what I wanna do. You can make it very minimal with a little branch there. And you could put twine around that. So what I'm trying to do is have some texture involved in it. So I could just bring some twine around this and tie it like I did the other branch. Or still can have the twine and then we could put the greenery and another little bell. So that's another idea. And I bought, uh, these bells came in a little box and they were like $2 for this box of these vintage looking bells that were at my little hardware store. Okay, the other thing that I have are the pieces of the little pine cone. If you want it to be very simple, depending on your style, you could take, where's my embroidery thread? Okay, you could do the twine around it or you could take a little piece of embroidery thread and wrap it around like so. I love doing this. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of this glue here. I try to anyway. You know how it just never works when I'm doing a Facebook Live. I don't know what it is. It's another thing that happens. Everything goes awry. Staples run out. Holes get punched wrong. <laughs> it doesn't get glued down. Okay, so that's kind of cute. So that's another little um, embellishment. I like to think of different things that we can attach to the gift. We could do two of them like so, and you can even bring in the greenery. So that's another idea. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this little green one on here. I like the green against this since it's, I'm wrapping my own present here. I'm gonna get some more twine. So I'm, all right, so I have the, the belly band. I just um, put a little bit of artist tape on it. And so I've, I've been looking at all of your beautiful little art journals that you've been creating. And I love all the watercolor ones. And that would be just beautiful if you took a really big piece of, of sketch paper and did your beautiful watercolor on it. And it could just be color and you know dip you could even dip like a, a branch into it and make marks like you would do the ink and then let that dry and use that as part of your gift wrap wrap your presents in it all right now i'm going to slide this in here okay and of course i have to have a jingle bell too so i'm going to just attach this little jingle bell over here So I'll probably put a little bell on everyone's gift that I wrapped this year and either do a little twig or a little bit of greenery. And when the, we get the Christmas tree, I'll probably cut off a little branch. So I love that. I think that looks very sweet. All right, I'll put that aside. And this is another, uh, another gift and I'm going to do the belly band one more time. And I wanna make this one the kind of the minimal one, I think. So when I wrap the belly band around, I want to kind of find what part I like in this. I like this part here. And I'll just crease it and then I'll overlap it here. I think I'm shaking this again. Okay, let me get a little piece of tape. Let's paint on it. So if you, if you do any wrapping, I really would love to see it. I love to, to look at, I love gift wrap, I love packaging, and I'm always looking for new ideas. I really wanna see what, what you create. So make sure you share that in the community. I would love to see it. 
I'm just going to fold it and tear it here. Okay, now I am, I really love this little white branch. So what I did was it was just a plain branch like this and I mixed together white gesso and titanium white paint. So the gesso is important because it helps from it absorbing into the wood. And so I want to, I think I want to bring in blue. Oh, the other thing is too, if you didn't want to do a branch, you could bring in some feathers and the greenery. That would be really pretty to do like a little, you know, feather with the bell and the greenery. That's another idea. All right, I think I'm going to use the blue. That looks really pretty with my color palette here. A little glue. gonna roll it around. Oh, I just broke off my little bit of branch, of course. So Millie is being really quiet right now. Usually it's like this loud yelping all the time. <laughs> it's really loud. She's so sweet. I think I was telling you earlier that, you know, we've had cats for like 10 years. I've always had a cat and I haven't had a dog for like 25 years. And so I'm, it's so funny to me how affectionate and they just kind of cuddle up with you. Cats, you know, like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll come sit by you if you're lucky. That's how my cats are anyway. All right, well, I like that. So I just really wound it quite a bit just to get kind of a little bit of shimmer. I think that looks really pretty. Just adds one more element to my gift wrapping. Down, so I need a little piece of twine to put around this. Or you could do that, but I like the twine. fingers are super sticky from this. All right, so now I'm gonna slide my little branch in there. And then I have another, oh, I love that, it's so sweet. So that's more of a minimal piece. I like that, I'm trying to get this lined up. I think I'll snip this a little bit more. The other thing I have, um, from the watercolor paper that I made the ribbon journal out. So this was left over. So I cut out tags, so I made tags. And so you can take the paper that you have left over and it's just, um, I think this was hot press watercolor paper and punched a little hole and then I can add the, the tag to my gift. All right, so let me put that over here and I have one more and it is a present for my husband. And what I did was I made a big belly band and it, I wrote out um, with a calligraphy pen and ink, <clears throat> twas the night before Christmas. So you could write anything. You could write a prayer, you could write a quote, you could, what, however you wanna do it. And I just did the pen and ink. You could do it with a paintbrush. You could do it in, with white gesso. And I really think this could be a great gift for, to do with you, a great idea to do with your kids and even take a big piece of craft paper, give them white paint or whatever color they choose and they can write out, you know, a Christmas story or a song or a Christmas prayer or a holiday prayer, whatever they wanted, and then turn that into their gift wrapping as so they become kind of part of 
the wrapping and the Christmas traditions and everything and holiday traditions, depending on what you celebrate. All right, so I have this giant package. This is my husband's. Hopefully, oops, let me pull it up a little higher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this around the side here. So this, okay, and then I'm getting all my gift wrapping done on Facebook Live. This is very exciting. I feel so accomplished. All right. Tape this here, and then I want to add a big piece of greenery to his, and some twine, and keep it kind of simple and more masculine, and of course, probably a jingle bell. So it might be nice just to put the twine around here too. Let's put a little bit there. would be the speed up part in a regular class video so you didn't have to just sit here and watch me do this so slowly all right here we go all right so now I'm going to just take a piece of twine and wrap it around I need a lot of twine for this one right now. down with more twine but I won't torture you um, because you get the idea there so and then I'll put a little bell on this one all right so I'm gonna move this aside and let me clean up my space one other idea that I had was um, you could take I could take this one over here you can also take a like a vintage postcard and slide it so it, it makes another little gift and then you can add the greenery on top of that i think that would be really pure just one piece and kind of slide it under so that's another option to do which i kind of like that the the different layers of the package okay i'm going to put that back in because i really like that all right so let's see what we have here and what we created Space, and then I'm going to show you the new prize. That I'm... All right, so all of this, this is two pieces of paper and just a roll of craft paper. All right, I have the little, and then the big gift. And then I had the, the gift that I just wrapped for Mark. So here we go. I think it all looks very pretty together. And, um, all right, I think that's it. Okay, so there you go. That's all the, the gift wrapping. And now I want to show you. Oh, yes, and we did the little embellishments too. That's really fun to do. Hey, so I hope you had a good time with, with all my fumbling around as I was wrapping. <laughs> I've never wrapped in front of people except for my family. So I hope you had a good time with that. And I can't wait to see what you create. I really like how they turned out. They're so sweet. So we'll do something next week. I don't know what. Hopefully I think of something. But I do want to tell you, since it's the, tomorrow's Thanksgiving and it's all about gratitude, I want you to know how grateful I am that you come every week and you show up and you're super supportive of this creative community and supportive of the things that I do. I really appreciate you. I really do. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
So I hope you have a beautiful Thanksgiving and um, rest, and I will see you next week, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.